Good evening. Use of force by police is an important topic for state lawmakers in a special legislative session going on today. New Special's Jed Bull live at the Capitol for us tonight. Jed, police tactics are in trying uh, to shore up a huge budget shortfall due to COVID is a big thing keeping lawmakers very busy right now. That's right. Legislators feel that the state is in a good position to be able to make the cuts necessary in order to enable individuals, businesses, and institutions recover. But the big news this night at the legislature is also that they've responded to calls from the community for more restraint by our police officers. A few months ago, representatives, none of us expected that we would be here today. Lawmakers have a modified budget that meets immediate needs and prepares for the future. They face a deficit of $93 million in one-time funding and $757 million in ongoing funding in the general and education funds. We find ourselves here about uh, to make incredibly hard decisions about budget cuts and policies. They will make targeted cuts and use $100 million from the rainy day fund that they will treat as a loan and try to replace in July, looking at options to reduce the budget by only 1.7 percent while making modest increases in funding for education and social services. Senate leadership also talked about reopening the economy while coronavirus cases remain high. If we can protect that, that medically frail population, we can allow a lot of the uh, non-medically feral population to resume what would be a normal activities, work and other things. The House today passed a bill that bans police from using chokeholds or a knee on the neck to restrain anyone. The purpose of this bill, one of the purposes is to um, prevent this from happening in the future and um, and to assure the public that this will not happen in the future. It passed with a 69 to 5 vote. Not only is this an important piece of legislation, but it sends a message to all of our constituents about our values and where we want our society to be. That bill also passed the Senate this afternoon and now goes to the governor for his signature. As a matter of fact, in about a half an hour, there will be a press conference up here where the bill's sponsors will talk more about it in detail. Guys? All right, Jed Bull, live for us this evening up at the Capitol. Jed, thank you.